the time for money trap. Now, um, I talk about this quite a lot. A lot of self-employed people, uh, owners of really small businesses, are completely stuck in the time for money trap. So if it's just you running your business, this particularly applies to tradespeople. So if you've got a craft, should we call it, if you've got a skill and your business is based around you physically doing something for someone else, like building, painting, plastering, electricians, plumbers, etc. These guys, these people are all doing a physical job. They're, they're physically building or creating or making something look pretty. So that is the definition of time for money. You go to work in the morning, you do your job, you create something, you make something look pretty, you make something work, you stop a leak. It's a physical thing that you are achieving in that day. That's directly linked to your time. So it's very hard to grow your business outside of that time for money trap. Um, the way a lot of people do it is by employing other people and then you're leveraging their time for money. Employing people can be quite difficult and it's a big step to take as a sole trader. Um, going from enough work to sustain one person to enough work to properly sustaining more than one person without hindering your income is a big, big leap. So is there any other way? Well, yes, there is. You can partner or affiliate for other companies and promote their products. So if you're a painter and decorator, you might want to affiliate with um, a big home decor company. And when you're emailing your clients once a week, once a month, whatever it is you do with your newsletter, you could just add in a little link at the bottom and a little paragraph and a link and a picture about a company that that aligns with your clients and then next time they buy a light fitting after they've just had their dining room decorated you get a commission for it or next time they buy a new bedspread after you've wallpapered their bedroom you get a commission for it um any business that you're in there's going to be additional purchases that people make in and around that that maybe you you can't provide yourself that someone else can and you could be taking a cut. Think about it.